I present to you William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet in nowhere near five minutes. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. So in the town of Verona there are two houses called the Montagues and the Capulets. Make it nice and easy, we'll refer to the Capulets as Gryffindor and the Montagues as Hufflepuff. And if you don't know what that means and you haven't seen Harry Potter then uh, go watch Harry Potter. Now the two families hate each other so much that one day they decide to just start a massive brawl in the middle of the street. <laughs> I am the prince of this town, and I tell you, I've had enough. The next person that starts a bloody brawl shall die, or be kicked out the town, or something like that. My name's Benvolio, I'm a Hufflepuff, and I'm also good friends with Romeo, who's also a Hufflepuff. What's wrong with Romeo? He's in love with a girl called Rosaline. It's true, I am, and I vow never to look upon another girl again, especially fall in love with one at first sight. We now catch up with the lord of the Gryffindor house, Juliet's father, and he's trying to marry off Juliet to a rich sugar daddy called Paris. I really do want to marry your daughter, Juliet. I mean, she's only 14. Oh, that's fine. We then stumble back in on Romeo and Benvolio. Let's go to the Gryffindor party tonight. Will Rosalind be there? I mean, it, it, maybe. We're going. We now meet the female lead of this story, Juliet. So she is the daughter of the lord of Gryffindor. She also has a nursemaid who is horned up all the time. Oh matron. Then enters in Lady Gryffindor. How would you feel about getting married? But I'm only 14. The beggars can't be choosers. Wow look it's our good friend Mercutio. Hi there. I'm neither a Gryffindor or a Hufflepuff. I'm insane. Last night I dreamt of love. Last night I dreamt of fairies. I'm insane. Well on that note let's go to the enemy's post fight party. Now time to introduce the last big hitter in the story. So Tybalt is known as the Prince of Cats. No, don't. He's the bad boy of the Gryffindor slash Capulet family. I'm going to Jellicle fuck up any Hufflepuffs I see. Who's that? Juliet, the um daughter of don't your sworn lover. Wow, I love you too. Is that Romeo? Not now, Tybalt, mate. All right, party's over. Well, he was gorgeous. Darling, he's a Hufflepuff. Don't care. Did you pull Rosalind? No. Juliet, though. As in Juliet? Juliet? What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet is the sun. Oh, Romeo. Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? That's the famous lines out of the way, at least. I love you, but I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh, well, what's in that? It's just a name. Well, yeah, you see, the thing is, is Hufflepuffs are kind of quite known for being massive shit. My dad's here. Look, if you really love me, come back tomorrow. Now time for the final big hitting character, sorry, is this time, Friar Lawrence. Hey Friar, I didn't get any sleep last night. Did you shag Rosaline? No, uh, I love Juliet. As in Juliet, Juliet? Oh, bit risky, Romeo. Will you marry us? Now. Ah, uh, why the fuck not? I mean, life's short, especially for you. What? Who said that? So apparently, Jellicle Tibbot wants to duel with Romeo. Oh, but Romeo, he's a bit wet. wet. Who's wet? You Dolphins. are. Dolphins, any of you boys want to shag? Nope. Right then, which one of you is Romeo? Tell Juliet to meet me at the Friars, where we'll get married. Now! Romeo wants to marry you, darling. Ooh, when? Now! I pronounce you man and wife. So Mercutio and Benvolio are just minding their own business when... Where is Romeo? I'm here. You shall die. Hey, let's just have a chat, buddy, you know. Peace and love and all that. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus he's wet. wet. So what happens now is a little bit complicated, so I'll slow this bit down. So. Mercutio offers to fight Tybalt in Romeo's place. They start fighting, but Romeo tries to break them apart, wherein Tybalt then stabs Mercutio from under Romeo's arm, meaning technically Romeo killed Mercutio? I mean, I know he didn't, but just play along, it's Shakespeare. I'm playing on both your houses. Then the prince rocks up again, conveniently after another brawl. It was Tybalt. Romeo's the good guy in all of this, I promise. I smell bullshit. So do I. Romeo, you are exiled from the city, and if you are found, you shall die. So Juliet, Romeo's dead. What? Oh, sorry, I meant Tybalt, your brother's dead. Oh, good. I mean, who killed him? Romeo. Well. Well, indeed. Well, you never know, Prince might change his mind. This is a tricky situation, isn't it? I've got a plan. One of many. You go round there tonight and shag Juliet. Ah, oh, that works for me. No better time for a wedding, me thinks. Ed is Wednesday sound, Paris. Bit soon, isn't it? Fine. 
Thursday. Romeo is now called round to Juliet's house. I love you so much, Juliet. I would rather stay here and die than run away. Juliet, your mother's coming. On second thoughts, bye. Love you. How shall I ever go on? Oh, well, I've got something that will cheer you up, darling. You're gonna marry Paris in two days. Like hell I am. Wretched baggage. If I were you, Juliet, my love, I'd just marry Paris. He's loaded and Romeo's as good as bloody dead by now. We've never met before, have we? No. <laughs> huh. I need to speak to you, father. Oh, oh, fuck off, Paris. Okay, uh, I'm gonna kill myself. Whoa, cowboy, I've got a better plan. Displayed here. We got some more good news. The wedding's near tomorrow. Night, night, sweetie. Bottoms up. Ooh, I can't wait for this wedding. Go wake up Juliet, will ya? She's dead. Juliet's dead? No! Romeo then visits an apothecary, buys some poison, and then declares that I shall die by Juliet's bedside. So the friar had sent a letter to Romeo informing of the plan, however, because of the plague, the letter didn't get delivered in time. Bring out your dead! Here, will you take my Bert, will ya? Plague, was it? Yeah, you will give him a proper burial, won't ya? Of course I will. I'll chuck him in a pit with all the others. So this is the famous scene where everything goes to shit. So, at Juliet's tomb... I'm so alone! Don't worry, I'm here too! You murderer! Paris then makes a lunge for Romeo, but Romeo kills him. My sweet Juliet, you look so beautiful and alive, even though you must be dead. Well, uh, thus, with a kiss I die. Then the friar enters again, just as Juliet starts to wake Ooh. up. Shit, Romeo and Paris are both dead. Are they? Then Juliet stabs herself by Romeo's side. Then enters the prince and the heads of the Gryffindor slash Capulet and the Hufflepuff slash Montague houses. My wife has died of grief. Let's build a statue in their memory, yeah? I'm sorry. So am I. Well, but I'm more sorry. Hey. For never was there a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. The end. <laughs>